Okay, let's see. Left part gets connected to the right part, but don't forget the center part. I'm confused. That's okay. I'm easily confused. Yes, as you can guess it, we're back on the Holloway Harler. <laughs> we gotta get this thing done. We're running out of time. What do I got? A week? And I have gotten nowhere on it? Okay, my friends, we left off last time. Everything is ready to be glued together and primered and painted, except for me knocking stuff off my workbench. I need a better workbench, but I've got some ideas, but we won't get into that today. Um, we'll do this a bit later, but first we're going to get this prepared. We're going to get the suspension prepared, and that way I can paint it also and install it after all the other stuff is dry. The paint is dry. This shouldn't take long because there's not a lot of stuff on it. Uh, flash looks somewhat limited-ish. Uh, and you know what? I know people go crazy over flash, and I can't video and take stuff out of the bag at the same time so uh, yeah I don't mind taking off flash that's a uh, nice relaxing just kind of kick back take your time doing stuff so that's what we're gonna do and then we'll prep the wheels kind of like sand the tires make it look like they're used and glue all the hubs on and stuff like that so that is today's plan of action okay Okie dokie, okie dokie yogis, we got some stuff done, now if you check it out, we sanded down the tires to give it that realism look, and I used this, that's what I did, because you know what, I got a pile of rubber now, and I'm gonna glue, or kinda clear glue, whatever, on the bottom of the trailer, that's what I'm gonna do. I think around the wheel wells I might do that, or use it as debris, that's my thinking there. So it does add a little bit of realism look, so we'll set that on the side. So I firstly started by putting the rear axle together, like this. So the most difficult part of this is, even though it's numbered in the instruction guide, nowhere does it show the numbers. <laughs> of the pieces so if you're a beginner you might struggle a bit and it's kind of awkward to build in that they do it upside down so they show you this way however when you install it you have to flip it upside down so that you have to be a little bit tricky on so we got the air brakes will go like that that system will look like that and then the tubes go in there so yeah other than that, most of it's pre-done, and they also you have to put the hubs, the rear dust shield, backing shield, backing plates on the outside of the spring. Again, if you're a newbie and you don't know much about vehicles or whatever, that is one little thing that you'll have to be aware of. Uh, flash was okay, uh, mind ya, I won't be doing any flashing, so I'll save you guys that ugliness. Ha ha ha, yeah, yeah, I know. That's, is, does people do flashing anymore? I don't even know if you call it that. Back in the 70s we did. Anyhow, we will, um, what was I going to say? Stop smacking your lips or whatever you're doing. Oh, I'm not going to glue the tube on right now. I'm going to mock things up. And then what I'm going to do is it goes in here. So I'll mock things up, glue that assembly on, and then I'm going to put it in here before I glue it. That way it sets in the position that I want it. So, yeah, that's where I'm going to put all that rubber. I'm just going to throw it around there, all that leftover debris. Okay, all the mock-ups on the rear suspension are done. We got the air brake pots on. I've got all the rod, lever, system, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it, all in place. Now, I wanted to mock it up like this because if this comes in clear, see, one side, that side, there's a gap between the leaf spring mount and the I-beam, and this side, there's nothing. So that's why I kind of mocked that up and assembled it without uh, assembling it off the channel because this has to fit in those 
two slots right there. So that's why we did that. And the other thing I'm going to finish off right now, we're going to assemble the cylinders, the air tank, and the, we're going to put the chrome wheels together. And I think that should do it for small assemblies. And then next is we're going to glue, start gluing the side panels on all the big stuff, all these guys, this guy and the sides on it so that is going to be a little more trickier because of the size the hugeness of it okay how does this look uh good not good oh my god what a pain in the ass i guess it wasn't too bad of a pain it was uh using um crazy glue uh quick bond and i put some i started at the front i glued that in i let it set up for a couple minutes while holding it and then I did the back or middle then I held it for a couple minutes and pushed everything together and it's hard to explain but there's little clips in there that it rides on those clips so that's what I had to do now I still have to do the other side even though I'm as high as a freaking kite because I got glue crazy <laughs> um, so I got this humble glue 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 and uh, a super glue which is more of a quick bond um, I have to do the other side and then we're gonna let things dry up overnight and yes this is a most important tool that banana which was holding that up but now I think it's glued in place enough to hold it uh, whoo it's gonna smell in the room so very tricky very tricky uh, where's the clips yeah see those clips right there those clips got to go on top and each side I'm mating flush right there and that's how I'm holding it together and don't put your finger over the microphone Chuck so we got one side done I'm gonna let it set a little bit longer it's not overly warped you know for a kit made in 1971 which was what 52 years ago wow that's impressive actually so it's not overly warped actually sorry this isn't 52 year old kit this is a 2020 release the mold that makes this kit is 52 years so yeah we'll do the same thing on this we're going to glue the living shit out of it we'll start at the front do that first third section maybe even a quarter then go one quarter over holding it another quarter and another quarter to the back and then I don't know if we're gonna get the roof on tonight or not we'll see running out of time but maybe maybe not so I gotta get to sleep because I have to work Sunday morning somewhat bright and early nine o'clock but I usually get up around five to go to work because I can piss around and whatever so anyways blah 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 I know okay 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 this is how we end our building look at this we got our second side panel on. This one is just loose and of course falling down. So I did glue the live and tar out of it and things are holding up fairly well. Smells lovely in here and uh, I had to clamp the back just to help it along because it wouldn't hold in tight. Uh, the glue job looks kind of ugly but once paint and primer get on it, it should be fine. I think I'm going to leave this part till tomorrow-ish. And we'll glue that on after this one sets up really good. Uh, the tricky part will be painting and priming this. How do I get in there? Because I'm going to do it all together as assembly. I'm going to have to get up in there, so it's going to be tricky. It's going to get an air airbrush job, that's for sure. So, anyways, my friends, we're going to end it here. No cheers of any kind tonight. No beer, no nothing, because I'm already high enough. <laughs>